welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am doing a primark haul i absolutely love these videos because a i love going into primark b i love spending my money in primark and c i love showing you guys what i picked up and me and matt my boyfriend if you didn't know which i'm sure most of you probably do um went to kent to go and see beth and tristan her partner and her little baby girl opal and it was one of the best weekends i've had in such such a long time um, and of course there was a Primark and of course I had to go in and of course I had to spend money and of course I had to show you what I picked up. So this is the first time I'm wearing makeup in a good couple of weeks. I'm really vibing to the makeup look I've created. I'm very happy. I use quite a lot of Cloud Lashes products. The Ibiza Lash, I use the Take Me Away Beauty Blender. Um, and I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm just so excited. Oh, I've got something in here that actually wasn't from Primark, but I'll show you guys anyway. So I'll get the first thing that isn't from Primark out of the way. It's this really cute little fake cactus. I think it's fake. Yeah, it's definitely fake. Um, and it's a Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, and it's going to go on one of my new shelves that I picked up. Um, and it's £8, I think. I've never been into an Asda. Not that I can remember anyway, which might sound really sad. In my local area, we don't have one. Um, so... I saw this and I was like, their Disney collections were amazing. From Primark, I picked up these. And these are the Minnie Mouse reusable makeup remover pads. And they just look so damn cute. They were £2.50. And I just couldn't help but pick them up. I'm such a novelty kind of person. I do love Disney, I've got to be honest with you. I'm not like a raging Disney fan like a lot of people are. But Disney merchandise like this and the classic movies hold a special place in my heart till the day I die. This is what they look like. Um, yeah. I'm very excited to use these. Um, I'm either going to use these or I'm going to give them to my colleague. I think I'm giving them to my colleague because I have got some other Disney idea things I want to get her. Um, but yeah, these are really cute and I love this kind of thing because I just think you can use these with any skincare products. You don't just have to use them with warm water to take, up your, take off your makeup. I've got another pair of kind of like slidery kind of sandals. Um, I have already got a pair from Primark and I do love them, but I can't wear them out because they rub way too much and they just, they just, they're just too uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time but i do love these kind of slider sandals and i know they're very controversial a lot of people don't like them i personally do so i saw these kind of hippie inspired kind of trousers now they do look quite see-through so i'm gonna have to wear very invisible underwear with them which is fine um and i've got them in a size 14 because i didn't really know what to do like what kind of size to go for um i sort of thought size 14 because the elastic waist look quite good and i love the kind of bagginess and i love the color i don't know if you guys can appreciate this with me absolutely obsessed i mean these were eight pounds and it says they are it's made used and it says on the tag made using sustainable fibers which is always good um, and these are in the shade blush i've got this really nice black bodysuit um in a size 14 to 16 because the other ones just looked a bit too skimpy for me i quite like it to be a bit more not flowy because you've got the flowy trousers but i thought the mix of them both hang on look at this way maybe would look quite nice we'll see we'll have a go um we'll give it a go but this was six pounds so i don't think that's too bad and i could wear this with anything really fashion like primark always have a good handbag and i'm just i couldn't help myself so i'm gonna take this out now just, i'm loving blue at the moment ironically because i've got like brown and neutral tones on right now but i do love this kind of blue and it's a little dainty handbag that i can use on a double date girls brunch um date night you know wherever i want to go because i can't take a lot of stuff in here which normally is a massive kind of turn off for me for a handbag um the fact that it's small would normally be a major like no-no for me because I like having a decent sized bag for when I'm going out in the evening because I have a lot of crap that I take with me. However, I just loved this and it was only £5. So I just couldn't, I couldn't leave it. They also had um, it in black. So I feel like whenever I go to Primark, I have to grab a handbag. So you just have the middle pocket like so. Then you've got a little pocket there as well. Um, gold detail chain, which I'm going to be honest, I'm so here for. And then obviously you've got the strap as well. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really cute. And I definitely want to be getting some more blue inspired um, outfits and tops and things. And even though I don't have to coordinate this with my outfit, because I'm not a very coordinated person, I don't match things. I just throw it on and hope for the best. However, for £5, 
I'm just really here for it and I just love like the pattern and it just you just can't grumble for five pounds really so to go potentially in hang on this bag um let's see if it fits actually oh it does so i've not been using purses as much at the moment i've literally just been chucking my um cards that i need like my bank card and my id in my little coin purse from Kirsten. but i do love that do not get me wrong however this is just gonna be a bit more handy in case for the odd reason i do have a bit of um cash i could put in here um i've got a coin section but i also have a card section um and they actually for once had one with my initial on which never happens um and this was three pounds and i just really liked it i just thought it was very sleek very nice and fits in the small handbags also fits in my normal handbags because this will be an everyday thing not just an evening kind of thing um and also if i don't want to take a handbag at all because of my cards i can literally just take this okay, and the rest of it is literally makeup skincare not skincare but you know makeup pamper kind of stuff um so i'm just really really happy so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is this this is a prep perfect hydrating and refreshing priming gel now if you know i absolutely love this primer three pounds absolute bargain it pumps up the product don't mind my missing nail getting them done next week by laura my nail tech nails on point sorry um it pumps up the product and I think that's amazing because it means you waste very little to no product at all, which is really handy, you know. And I've actually, for a primer, I've got through it. And I never get through primer. And even if I'm not wearing makeup, I would happily put this on my skin because it just kind of blurs the skin, softens the skin, it makes the skin look a bit more even. And I just absolutely love it. So it just makeup hold aid. It helps to moisturise it, lightweight gel texture, hyaluronic acid and moisture complex. So it's got a bit of skincare qualities in there too. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this. They have quite a few different options as well. I think they have three other options under this one. I believe um but i had to get back up with this because i've been saying i've needed to get one for ages haven't actually got around to it and it is one of if not my favorite primer at the moment great great primer the other makeup items i picked up so i've not seen this range in my local primark anyway it's the um 38 degree collection range they've got um, which kind of reminds me of the ordinary packaging and also kind of glossier vibes, like the pastel tones. So I got the conditioning mascara. It's got avocado oil in apparently and nourishes lashes. Um, and this is cruelty free. Just in case you didn't know, Primark Cosmetics is cruelty free. And some of it is vegan, like this primer, which is also very good. Um, so yeah, it is in black because i want to get into more neutral mascaras too so they're not so look so harsh i'm really excited to try this i'll either try it in a testing primer makeup video which i really want to do at some point um or i will just try it in a vlog or i'll just let you know what i think about it um and also i want to say i really apologize if you can hear me being a bit husky and coldy i am full of cold i've done covid tests so i need to justify myself but i've been doing covid tests and i'm negative you know the world can have people that go down with a cold the amount of people that have said to me oh my god have you got covid no i get that a cold like illness can have a lot of similarities to covid symptoms i completely respect that but no i'm just full of cold i work with children it's inevitable um so i also got the 38 degree defining liquid eyeliner in the shade black um this has avocado fruit extract and helps retain moisture just like primark makeup doing these things like what um and i've really been getting into eyeliner i'm no good at it yet but i have had some hits and some misses so i'll probably talk about that in a vlog at some point just to get let you guys know for beginners like myself what works for me and what doesn't just to maybe give you guys some help or just to give some recommendations but i'm really excited to give this a go because i have actually heard some good things about primark eyeliners um so yeah and i much prefer liquid eyeliner to pencil eyeliner personally and my personal preference so yeah i'm really excited to give it a go but as i said the packaging it's really like a pastel green and then the mascara is like a pastel peach if you know what i mean i don't know if i'm making any sense got this bow headband because if you know me you know i absolutely love these kind of things that they're so this is so soft as well it does melt quite a bit though just letting you guys know but it's so super soft it was one pound fifty 
cannot grumble and for when i'm either doing my skincare routine my makeup whatever i'm gonna do this is gonna be perfect um so yeah i just saw it last time don't need it have got quite a few of them that i bought from amazon however this was cute <coughs> And then also kind of hair care kind of things. I picked up two things. So I picked up some headbands. Absolutely love these. Oh. They're thin and I like them. They're really handy once again for whenever I'm doing my makeup. And I don't have a fluffy headband available because they're in the wash. And if I'm at work and I just want my hair out my face. Perfect. You get a pack of five for a pound. Cannot grumble. And then. Oh my nose is starting to get blocked again. Um, I got the hair detangler. This is from their summer range. It was three pounds and it's got bloody peaches on. So did I mainly buy this hairbrush because it had peaches on? Absolutely. Am I sorry about it? Absolutely not. Malika will know. I bloody love peaches and she got me a skinny dip one, which I still have. Um, this just reminds me of my tangle teaser and I absolutely love them. That just makes, oh. I'm so, so excited to try this. So that is everything for my Primark haul and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you've been grabbing from your local Primarks, if you've been in, if you've got any recommendations um, and if any locations as well because I'm happy to travel far and wide for a good old Primark shop and I'm sure I can persuade Matt into another little weekend away somewhere. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. Um, and I will see you in my next vlog or video, whichever one you watch first. Bye.